Hey everybody! Long time no see. It's Carrie over on Poshmark Macari as Carried Away with Two Wise. Um, I haven't done a YouTube video in months, but I'm gonna try it again. We'll see how I do in my new office. And this is going to be a two-parter. It's going to be everything I found on the last dollar fifty day sale, which my Goodwills do a sale. It's the last Tuesday of every month, and there's six Goodwills in my yeah, six Goodwills in my area that do it. And everything that's regular tag, so it's not marked up, is a dollar fifty that day. Anything that is marked up is half off. I don't believe I have anything in this haul or the next video that was marked up. I think everything I got was $1.50, so I'm pretty stoked on that. Don't mind if you hear my cat meowing. She wants my attention and she loves being in my office. So we'll see how this goes. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna start off with this. Oh my gosh. It is this vintage Halloween with the ghosts and the pumpkins and it buttons up with pumpkin crocheted buttons. It is Yarnworks, it's vintage, and it's size medium. And as always, if you guys want to just DM me over on Poshmark, I'm always willing to give deals or to get something listed right away. So if you guys want it. Uh, so yeah, you can message me over there on Posh, or not Poshmark, I'm sorry, over there on Instagram if you're interested on anything. So next, I picked up a lot of basics on $1.50 day, either to just kind of do on Macari or to send a thread up because I'm still trying to try my hand at thread up. So we'll see how it goes. So this is a Guy Hardy, just this really basic pink and it's got like this hummingbird and a swordfish, I believe. Yep. And it is a size medium. Continue with the basics. This is a Simply Southern. It is a size medium. I believe it's a women's medium, but as always, these can all be unisex. And it says, make America, or America, if that's how you say it, preppy again. And I just love that. I thought that was hilarious. Okay, so this was one of my absolutely favorite finds, and I might actually keep it for myself, even though I have a bajillion sweatshirts, but I might. So it's just this fun, ugly sweater, but it's the dude. It's from the Big Lizatowski. Let's see if I can get a better look at you guys. And it is a large, I believe this is a men's or a unisex large. And it's just on the Gildan sweatshirts, but it's soft, it's comfortable, it's gonna be warm, and it's perfect because it's an ugly sweater. Okay, next. Also, I might keep this. So I don't normally pick this, um, it's mud pie, if you guys can see that. Sorry, I'm pretty far away, I gotta figure this out still. But it's like this plaid, like oversized vest. And it is a size one size, but I would say it's definitely a medium or a large. Next is this super fun, I love it, which is my size. It's a Lululemon top. It's got the little Lululemon. I can find it <laughs> right there in the back. No size, but I would assume this is probably a six or an eight by just the way that it is. Um, but it's in great condition. Next, another basic. So this is the We the Free, and it's a small, but of course, We the Free and Free People. It's I could fit in this. It's a medium or a large, basically. But it's a basics with just kind of this fun, like muted floral print all over it. Love it, so soft. Okay, jeans, jeans are one of my favorite thing to pick up and you'll notice from all my haul videos that I like to pick up a lot of jeans. So these are Joe's jean and they are, before I get too far in, they are size 24. They're just a pretty basic jean, but I picked them up because they have the step hem and I thought, okay, well that's probably still in. And then the back, if I can get it, has that like dip dye, if you can see it there. I figured if you can't sell them on Poshmark, I will try it on Thread Up and see how it does. Next, I love this. Have no idea about the brand, so I'm gonna show you guys the brand first. So it's this, so I assume it's one of those fast fashion brands, but look at how pretty this is. 
It's like that fun vintage, like almost like the Vin Fendi and Gucci vintage handkerchief. It's the, like the equestrian and it's in excellent condition. Wish this was my size. There's also no size in it, but I would say it's probably a medium. Maybe a large, but probably an oversized medium. Okay, next we have another Simply Southern. I believe this one's also a medium. It is. It is that. And then on the back it has the love with the bow. Super cute. And it's black. Or I guess maybe navy blue. It's probably black though. <laughs> okay, continuing on because this is going to be a long video, which is why I'm making a two-part. So this is the mock neck rib sweater by Madewell. And it is a size medium, but this one fits more probably like a small medium or a fitted medium. But it's super great. I believe it's from last fall. Let me just check. Fall of 18. So I try not to pick up any made well after 18, um, just because it doesn't do as well. But I don't know. Like I said, thread up is always another option there. Okay, with another one with jeans. So these are seven for all mankind, and they're just the normal boot cut. And normally I wouldn't pick these up, but they were dollar fifty, like I said. And look at the detail. I don't know if you guys can really tell, but it's like this fun skull. Like I don't know. Like the skull is like embroidered, but then it has like the like embellishments to the side of it. And these are a size thirty one. But I also think these might be a 31 short where they were hemmed. So I got to do measurements and check that out. And just to give you guys a heads up, most all of these are, unless I tell you about a flaw, are either in excellent condition or like new. So, but like I said, feel free to message me and I can always give you more details. Next, this was fun. Um, I actually found this at a Goodwill that normally narks everything up and this somehow made it into the $1.50, but it's like this weird vintage stripe and they're like a wide leg pull on pants, but they are free people, new with tag and they're size medium and they've got like the stretch waist, but they totally give me a like 60s, 70s vibe. I love it. Another brand I don't always pick up, but it was $1.50 and I thought, okay, you're super cute and if I can't do it on Poshmark, then you'll do well on ThreadUp, I'm sure. So it's Lucky Brand and size extra small. But how pretty is this? I don't know if you guys can tell, but it's like dotted, but it's like a textured dotted and it has like this ruffle sleeve. I'm not sure what this is called. If you guys know, um, please let me know. It also has the keyhole back and a ruffle front. So I just thought it was really fun and I was going to try it out. These are another brand I don't find very often. Um, and I actually found this before $1.50 a day and left them because I was like, I don't know, I'll wait and pick it up. So I did it. And it's, I think it's pronounced Peaky, but that's the label if you can see it. And they are a small. And I think the print is Love Elephants, but it's got elephants on the front there and on the back and they're striped. And these look like they've never been worn, like not even once. <laughs> so let's try it. This one was another one I found before dollar fifty day and left it in hopes that it would still be there. So this is a Sundance and it's got like a bear and like this, I guess it would be Viking or Norse, like armband on it. But it's of course like wool and it's Sundance and it's size small and it is 100% lamb's wool. It's got the bear on the front and it's a fitted type sweater plain on the back. And this is in great condition. Okay, so this one I picked up. Figured I'd try it just because I liked the design and if it doesn't sell, then it'll be mine. So this is a Talbots or Talbots. I don't know how to say it. I always say it wrong either way. It's an extra large, but it's got this fun like nautical whale on the front. It's plain in the back and it's navy, but it's just great and it almost looks like it might be a longer tunic style. So we'll see when I measure it. More jeans. So this is Citizens for Humanity. They are a size... good question, what size are they? 26. And I'm not sure on the style name, I need to look up the style number. 
but they also look like maybe they're a cropped style and they're a little distressed in the back and the pockets on the hem but it was a dollar fifty so i figured why not all right so this is gonna be more jeans because <laughs> i said i love jeans i don't always pick up american eagle but every once in a while i do especially if they have a button fly so this is the newer american eagle jeans they are the high-rise girlfriend they have the button fly all the way down and they are a eight long and they're like this fun like washed vintage gray color but they definitely have the girlfriend fit all right more jeans my favorite so this is um dl 1961 which i will definitely pick up when it's a dollar fifty or depending on the style these are the nina high-rise skinny and they are a size 25. So they're just the skinny type jeans and they've got the DL on the back with the leather patch. Looks like a medium wash. Nothing crazy, but I pick them up. Another pair of DL 1961 and these are the Asley. As I don't know. Sorry, I'm awful at names and stuff, but I try. And these are like a distressed skinny, I believe. Relax skinny, but they are like a distressed and they're size 26. So there's those again. All right. Brand I don't ever pick up because I don't have good luck with it, but I thought for thread up. So these are Zara, but they're like these really fun, almost like a mom skinny jean. And they are, in case anybody's interested, they are a US size 6. But it does not say the style. I have to look up the styling. But I just thought they were fun. So I thought maybe throw it up. Okay. Another pair of jeans, another Citizens of Humanity. And these are just like a normal, I believe. Let's see. Does this one have? I gotta look up the style name again. Oh no, I don't. These are the Ava Low Rise Straight Leg. But just realizing now that they don't have a size tag. Yes, they do, I lied, they're a 30. So, Ava Low Rise Straight Leg. Okay, these I picked up just for a thread up. I don't even think I'm gonna list them on Poshmark, but they're the Victoria's Secret Sport. They're just a full length legging, but they're like this fun geometrical triangle print, if you can kind of see but they are a size extra small. And I don't normally pick up this brand at all, but I thought for $1.50, I'll send them a thread up, see if I can make five bucks off of them. Why not? Okay, we're getting to the end of this haul, so there'll be one more pair of pants. So these are Pilcro in the Letter Press, and they are the Sir Serif, I believe is what it is. And they're a size 30, but they are like this fun green skinny corduroy. And I thought, okay, fall's coming up for $1.50. And the only flaw I saw is the back um, Pilcro in the letterpress thing is just gone. Somebody cut it out. But otherwise, they're in great condition. And I thought for fall, they'd be perfect. Okay. Another pair of pants. So these are Zella, which I believe is a Nordstrom brand but they're really cute. And they're like a cropped legging with like this eyelet cut outing at the bottom. I just thought, oh, those are cute. And they have like the mermaid belt up top with the waist. They are a size small. Okay, so this is one, I found it in the plus size section. A lot of my Goodwills, if it's not numbered, like a normal, like, you know, six, eight, 10, 12, um, they always just assume if it's a one, two, or a three that it's always plus size. So I always check my plus size sections because of that. And this was one I found in the plus size section. So this is a Ted Baker. You guys can kind of see. And it's just this open, like, ribbed style cardigan. And it's a size one, I believe. Yes, size one. I don't know. Okay, so it is Angora. But yeah, Ted Baker, $1.50. I'll take it. Okay, this is one I did not know, and I'm sorry if I say it wrong. It's Joe Brown. I don't know. I looked it up. Comps look good. I figured I'd try it for $1.50. It's just like this slub knit, like ribs, pullover with the raw hem, and 
it's a small medium. So I would definitely say it could fit a small oversized and a medium pretty normal. It's super soft though. Okay, last one for this haul. So a brand I don't pick up unless it's super cheap, but it's Mountain Hardware, figured for fall. People want their hiking gear and their athletic stuff. So it's just like a Henley button up and it is a size small, I have a lot of smalls, but it's just plain green. So that's it for this part of this haul. Um, thank you guys so much for joining me. I will try to get the second part up soon for you. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching me. I will try to produce more videos for you guys. I hope you all are finding just amazing finds lately and that sales are great for you. Um, like I said, if you're interested in anything, please feel free to message me over on Instagram. Just send me a DM. Let me know what you're interested in. I will definitely uh, get back to you with a price, shipping, and all that details. All right, guys. You have a wonderful day. Bye.